Gone are the days where Peach waits helplessly in Bowser's castle, relying on Toad to guide Mario to her rescue. It's pretty clear she got sick of the pudgy plumber, letting her get kidnapped over and over by the same damn bad guy, only to never seem to quite understand where she is. Peach has been on the pro's radar since Melee, and she has shot to S tier, along with her Echo Daisy, thanks to incredible combo strings and punishing techs. In fact, Leffen has dubbed Peach the most technical fighter in Ultimate, and it's not hard to see why. Many of Peach's best combos are reliant on exact spacing, exact timing, and hours of practice. But what else was Peach supposed to do while waiting for Mario to figure out which castle she was in for the hundredth time? Peach players are aggressive and fast, using Peach's unique floating ability to land incredible combos and edge guard effortlessly. Once you master the short hop, Peach's plethora of punishing combos are just at your fingertips. Remaining unpredictable in her movements, Peach is able to keep the advantage in most situations, especially if you're able to read your opponent. Most of Peach's approaches and combos rely on utilizing her ability to float. Unique to Peach and Daisy, this princess can float for almost 5 seconds if you press and hold the jump button. While floating, you have pretty open movement options, making it perfect for approaching enemies or getting back onto the stage. But the float's most useful function is its ability to quicken your attacks and set opponents up for follow-up combos, which we will discuss in a later video. There are two main heights that Peach mains choose to float. One is at the height of a full jump, in which you hold the jump button after fully pressing it. Floating from this height is perfect for dropping down on your opponent with a down air, which does a good deal of shield pressure. But most pros will tell you that it's all about getting down low. Hovering just above the ground opens up a lot of combo opportunities and speeds up a lot of Peach's aerial attacks. To get to this hovering position, hold down so Peach is crouching. Follow that up by pressing and holding the jump button while still holding down to start floating just above the stage. Follow up with an aerial, then grab your opponent once you land or follow up an aerial by floating back a bit, getting you out of jabbing distance, and then punish their counter with a dash attack or combo. Floating off the stage is a great way to edge guard, since most opponents won't be able to keep up with your quick movements. Hit them with a down air to knock them downward, and even follow up again when they attempt an up special. By floating, Peach can do multiple attacks while hovering in the same spot, all before letting your parasol guide you back to the stage safely. To the novice Smash player, Peach's turn up seems a bit like a throwaway move that has no place in the fast-paced, aggressive, competitive world. But Peach's down B is her most used special, excellent for zoning, edge guarding, and even combos. And Peach's vegetable is a huge boost to her neutral game, since you can hold on to the turn up while floating. While floating, pressing A won't automatically throw Peach's projectile, allowing you to hold on to the turn up until the right moment. While more than 60% of your vegetable pulls will be her basic turnip, which still has its uses, there are two rarer turnip pulls to look out for. The winking turnip will do double the damage of a normal turnip, and the dot eyes turnip does over three times as much damage. And finally, the stitch face radish does significantly more damage than your basic turnip. Don't let a turnip fall after you chuck it at an enemy. Practice grabbing it again while floating so you can use it again after landing a few aerial attacks. Having Stitch Face or any turnip at your disposal will allow you to continue combo strings and keep aggressively beating on your opponent. Turnips aren't the only items you can pull with your vegetable special. With a pull rate of only 0.4%, the bomb isn't too common of a pull, but this is a projectile that can kill at low percentages, making it quite valuable. Make sure to throw it when least expected to get the most out of this rare vegetable pull. The final item to watch out for is Mr. Saturn. Since he walks around on stage, you're able to keep using it if you're able to grab him again. But what makes Mr. Saturn one of the most valuable projectiles in the game is his ability to instantly shield break. When they go to block the onslaught of attacks, throw Mr. Saturn. This will instantly break their shield, leaving them open to a kill-confirming smash attack. Peach's turnips, even if they aren't the rare ones, have a lot of uses outside of combo strings. Since they knock enemies back, throwing a turnip at an enemy who's approaching the stage from below will force them even further down, which, more often than not, will make them unable to recover. Paired with Peach's ability to float off stage and continue to attack and throw, turnips can be devastating edge guarding tools. Having a turnip at your disposal at all times will almost always keep Peach at the advantage, whether it's ledge guarding, advancing, or attacking. You may notice that, while a powerful tool, Peach's turnip doesn't seem to travel as quickly as in melee. That's because people automatically throw while using the joystick to chuck it forward. Instead, pros will use the C-Stick or your designated smash button to throw a turnip at its full height and speed. Using Peach requires a lot of finesse, and players have to get used to a whole new way of playing that goes against their muscle memory. But with enough practice, you'll be floating your way up the ladder in no time. One tool that many pros use with Peach is her fast fall. This gives Peach more movement options than many other fighters, including landing on and falling through platforms at quick speeds. 
To fall fast after a float, let go of the jump button and press down twice. This added movement opens Peach up to more options when approaching enemies, leading to the jump, float, land, and grab combos that catch opponents by surprise, once you get these movements down fast enough. Another technique that Peach mains need to master is the short hop. The ability to short hop opens up a lot of new options for Peach. One of Peach's key combos is to hit an opponent with a neutral air after a short hop. Once your opponent is hit by the nair, start to hover and then hit them with a down air. After, float out of grabbing range. Once you can get down the timing, you'll then want to focus on the distance. You'll want to be out of your opponent's grab range, but still close enough to follow up with Peach's down tilt. Peach's down tilt is a low sweep kick that meteor smashes grounded opponents. This move allows for many follow-ups, including forward smashes at low percents or forward and up aerials at mid percents. If your opponent is already at a high percentage, they'll fly up even further, opening them up for Peach's Parasol. This not only deals a good amount of damage if it all hits, but could cause them to get KO'd if they're shoved up high enough. One of Peach's most aggressive approaches is her float followed up with a neutral air. This is how Peach sets up a lot of her combos and strings. To get this to consistently work, you have to practice the timing and speed in which you can do this. While still holding Y to float, slide your thumb over to A while your thumb is also still holding down Y. This will let you get to a neutral air rapidly, and over time, you'll build up the muscle memory to do this even faster. Once you have that mastered, follow it up with a down tilt right after, which can be followed up with another neutral air while floating if you can get back to hovering fast enough. Or to stay unpredictable, follow up with a grab. Once you throw your opponent, go in for a back air. Another popular combo includes doing a down air after a short hop. Once this knocks your opponent upward, follow this up with an up air on the C stick. If instead your opponent starts mashing, block their attack and parry, opening them up to a grab. This will start up the previous combo. Basically, there's no escaping an aggro Peach main. Almost any movement opens up an enemy to just another one of Peach's combos. You just have to read their movement and react. With all of these tools at Peach's disposal, it's quite shocking that she instead chose to sit around a tower waiting for Mario to finally understand Toad's cryptic hints. Then again, she probably wasn't afraid of Bowser at all, knowing she could kick his ass if he ever got close enough to her. Or maybe she just enjoys the break from fighting. There's only so much teching and floating someone can do before they go insane. But with enough practice, you'll be ruling the local scene, well on your way to facing the Smash Gods.